Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to cut some treads on the Pitbull Growlers. Um, they're a really good trail tire. Um, they did really good the other day, but we have a lot more technical crawling that I do here. Um, don't do so many trail runs and stuff like that, so I needed a more aggressive pattern. Um, this pattern I was shown by Crawler Innovations. I don't know if he was the creator of this cut, but... He was the one who showed me it, so I'm going to give him some credit for that. Um, definitely made it a lot more aggressive. Um, this one, nice and smooth. This one here, I mean, it really changed the grip of these tires. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I do this, and hopefully you guys can cut some of your own tires, make your own patterns. Maybe not have to buy some new tires because you got the wrong tires or someone g gave you some tires that just aren't exactly what you need. You can always make your own tread pattern. And so far I've had good success with it. For cutting these, we're going to go here in the center. We're going to start here in the center with the small lugs. And we're going to cut those out. And the way I've been cutting them out is by taking and pushing in from the side of the tire. See it roll over? Now you can get a nice good straight angle on that lug you're about to cut off. You don't want to be squishing it like this together. I'm not having to do that at all with these tires. Some tires you do, but these ones, just push in from the side, bam. You got a nice straight angle to cut. Um, anytime you're cutting them, cut it, cut it, cut. You get to the end of the cut and you got a little string. Do not pull that little string. Don't pull it and cut it because what's going to end up happening is you're going to cut it too deep because you're stretching the rubber way out and when you cut it then it creates a hole or makes a real deep spot that you really didn't want. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a lug or two off here for you guys and then I'm going to speed it up and I'll slow it back down when I come to the side lugs. See that little string, little string there? Reach back up into there, cut it, or use both hands and just pull just a little tiny bit of tension on it, very little, just enough so you can get your cutters in there and then cut it, but don't pull it real tight and then cut it. There we go. All right guys, got all the small center lugs cut out. So now we're gonna go ahead and move out on to the small outer lugs. The small outer lug is actually the big center lug points out to the small center lug. Then you're gonna go in from the sidewall, that little notch right there. You're gonna run your cutters Nice and flush with the rubber there. Clip and follow it all the way up. Nice and smooth. You don't have to pinch the tire. You don't have to do nothing but hold it. And it comes right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this tire up. I'm gonna do one more for you right here, close. Just like that. Take those right out of there. Now I'm going to do both sides and then I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys. There it is. All cut out, ready to go. Can't wait to get these things on the truck and give it a shot. 
Um, there's also another tread pattern that I was thinking about doing, and that's taking those out. Um, but it got to looking like too much of a paddle to me, more of a paddle than I wanted. So I went ahead and left those on there. Um, if you're looking for more of a paddle design, that might help. Um, there's also another paddle design that Crawler Innovations did where you cut the big lug out. You go all the way across from the small inner lug all the way across and take the big lug out, leave the little lug and the big center lug across like this. Um, I'm not looking for the paddle look. Um, I just wanted something a little more aggressive and I think this is really gonna end up working out. So thank you Crawler Innovations for uh, showing me that pattern. And thank you Cody Boy Designs as well. And everybody else out there has ever helped me. And uh, now we're gonna go test them out. I'm gonna do some climbs with the Hyraxis and then I will switch out and do some climbs with these. And we'll see how it goes. All right guys, here we go.
All right, guys. I've taken these tires out there on the rocks and doing a little smooth board test. I would say uh, the growlers do really good on the rocks um, with that cut like that. Um, the Hyrax do really good too. But I would say if these had some softer outers on them, where these have the soft outers, I think these would have done just as good on that smooth board. Um, on the rocks, I say they're pretty much equal. Um, the Growler did very good. The High Racks always does really good. So, which one won? I don't know. You be the judge. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe. And uh, share with your friends. We'll be doing a giveaway whenever we get to 40 subscribers. Hope you guys have a great day. See you later.